Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be talking about pickpocketing and I will explain how you can make some gold with this activity. So for those of you who are not aware of what is pickpocketing, basically this is a specific ability that rogues have and when they are under stealth they can pick the target's pocket. And of course not all the different enemies in World of Warcraft have pockets, but most of them have and like that rogues are able to get some very specific loot that can be worth quite a lot of gold. So Warhead put together a guide explaining what is pickpocketing, how you can use this activity in order to just achieve different things, what are the different quest lines linked to pickpocketing and what are the different type of items you can get when pickpocketing different enemies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the different ways you can make some gold with pickpocketing and explain each time uh, what are the best ways to make some gold and also what are, in my opinion, the most efficient ways to make some gold with these different items. So let's start with what is going to be, in my opinion, one of the best ways to make some gold with pickpocketing and it's going to be by farming the different uh, dice toys that you can then sell on the auction house. So you have three toys. You have the Decathedral Dwarven Dice, the Loaded Gnomish Dice, and the Worn Troll Dice. In order to get these different dices, you need to pickpocket some mobs in different areas of World of Warcraft. So as you can see, the drop, the drop rate for each of these dice is very low and it's probably going to be each time under 1% chance. But if you're doing it on... Uh, low popium where the mobs are usually up, you will be able to pickpocket a lot of these mobs and then you will increase your chance of getting some of these dices. So in order to get the different uh, dices, for the one troll dice, you want to come to Scorn. Scorn is this town just here in the Holding Fjord and you can really pickpocket all the different mobs that are around in this town. Then for the Decathedral Dwarven Dice, you want to go to New Earth Glen. So New Earth Glen is located in Dragonflight and is located just here. So as you can see, you can find it pretty easily. After that, you have the Lodic Nobish Dice. This one is located in the Maker's Ascent. This time, this is in Uldum. And of course, you need to go in the Old Uldum. So really, all these different dices are like not too difficult to get because, again, it's just a matter of luck and it's not too difficult to do. And then you can then sell them for quite a lot of gold. So as you can see, for the Decathedral Dwarven Dice, on European realms, it's going to be between 71 to 81k gold and 79 to 107k gold on US realms. For the Loaded Gnomish Dice, this is 55 to 82k gold on European realms and 69 to 77k gold on US realms. And the one troll dice is between 25 to 30k gold on European realms and 34 to 66k gold on US realms. So really, in my opinion, these toys are definitely worth farming. And even if they take time to sell, they don't cost you anything to post on the auction house. And it's always something that will sell eventually. So after that, the second category of items that I think are worth quite a lot of gold are going to be all the different junk boxes that you can pickpocket uh, from different enemies, from different expansions. So you have different type of uh, junk boxes. You have the ones from Vanilla Woe, the one from the Burning Crusade, the one from Lich King, the one from Cataclysm, and the one from Mist of Pandaria. And in all these different boxes, or most of them, you have the chance at getting some very rare weapons that can be worth a lot of gold. So for instance, you can see that from the battered junk box, you can get uh, some of these very rare weapons, such as the black venom blade. You can also get the silver blade. All these weapons are extremely, extremely rare. From the flame sac uh, sacred junk box, you can get the crawl, decapitator, and the twinning blade. Two weapons that can sell for really a lot of gold. From the heavy junk box, you can get the Tibu's Blazing Longsword. Again, an item that is worth a lot of gold. Same here, the Crawled Cleaver or the Dusk Blade from the Reinforced Junk Box. So really, you can get a lot of like very, very rare items that can be sold for a lot of gold. But these junk box can also be used for some of them uh, for other activities. So for instance, the heavy junk box can be used in order to 
increase the reputation with that is um, necessary in order to get the title the insane and it will help you achieve the reputation to exalt it with Ravenhold. So for instance, a lot of people are making gold just by selling these heavy junk box. Uh, you cannot sell them on the auction house, but you can directly trade them to other players. So for instance, I asked some people who were selling some of these uh, junk boxes and for some of them, they're selling them, for instance, uh, for 850K gold for 1,400 of these boxes which is like roughly 600 gold per box. And there is also people who are just willing to like purchase like some other lockbox. So for instance, here, as you can see, this person wants to purchase some lockboxes from Outman and Northland. So really, I think these are people who really want to hunt for these like rare drops and who are willing to buy all these different lockboxes. Uh, and like that, you can really make quite a lot of gold. And if you want to know exactly where are the best locations in order to farm all these different log boxes, you can go on the different items and go in pickpocket it from, and then you will see really what are the best places in order to farm these different log boxes. For instance, for the heavy junk box, by far one of the best places is going to be the black crop death, the dungeon, but you can also do it in other places. So really it's up to you to see where you want to do that but you can find all the information you need directly here on Wohead. So the third way to make some gold with pickpocketing is going to be by farming some pets that you can get uh, by pickpocketing or by achieving some activities linked to pickpocketing. So in Legion, um, there has been a new currency that has been added into the game, the coins of hair. And basically, this is something that allows rogues to then purchase some very specific items. So as you can see, in order to get some of these uh, coins of air, you just want to pickpocket some mobs all around uh, the Broken Isles. And like that, you are able to get some of these items that are then directly transformed into some of these coins of air. In order to get access to the coins of air, you need to just do this short quest line that is explained here in the guide. And like that, you will be able to get some of these items. So with 10,000 of these um coins of air you will be able to buy the sneaky marmot pet and then you also can buy the dig rat pet so again keep in mind that 10,000, for instance with when you find something like that you will be able to buy both pets so for these different pets as you can see for the sneaky marmot it's worth between 10,000 to 44,000 gold on european realms and uh, it's also like if you sell directly the pet, but if you cage it, if you cage it, it's between twelve to 13,000 gold. For the dig rat, if you sell the item directly on the auction house, it's between ten to 24,000 gold and ten to 13,000 gold if you cage the pet. So not too bad overall. And I really think it's not too difficult to farm these different pets. So definitely something you can try to make some gold with pretty easily. And again, something that is not too difficult to do. After that, you also have one other pet that you can make some, um, some gold with. So this is the Disgusting Oozling. So this pet can only be obtained when opening the Oozing Bad or the Misty Tatchel of Exotic Mysteries. But the one you can really farm is the Oozing Bad. And basically, the Oozing Bag can be pickpocketed from two different mobs, the Dimensional Ooze and the Shifting Myroglod. So as you can see, there is a low chance of getting these different bags when pickpocketing, but it can really help you maximize your chances of getting these pets. Basically, you want to each time pickpocket the mob and then kill it and then move on to another mob. Like that, you really multiply at least by two the chances of getting some of these bags and of getting the pets. When it comes to the value of the pets, if you really just sell the pet like that on the auction house, on European realms, it's going to be between 135,000 gold to 271,000 gold. And on US realms, if you sell, if you sell directly the pets like that, it's going to be between 160 to 288,000 gold. On European realms, if you learn the pet and then cage it, it's going to be between 31 to 41,000 gold. And on US Realm, 50 to 52,000 gold. So a pet that is worth a lot of gold and that I think is definitely worth having up on your auction house. So another cool way of using pickpocketing in order to increase the amount of gold you can make. So after that, you have like a lot of other 
items that you can obtain and most of them are really not worth anything most of them are just junks and so these are not something i'm going to talk about but there is one last item that i think you might be able to make some gold with uh in the future and it's going to be this uh, spare and so this spare and as you can see is a one hand weapon that looks pretty pretty cool so this weapon has a shared appearance with this weapon that you can get, this off-end that you can get in um, the new Nexcromas in War for the King. But again, this is an off-end weapon. And this spare end is for now just categorized as a one-hand weapon. So I'm not sure exactly what will happen to this item with the new system uh, with all the gray and white quality items being added to the transmog system. But if it's added as a transmog, uh, if by any chance they maybe make it like a mace or something like that, then this is definitely something you will be able to make a lot of gold with because again, the only other model you can use is a uh, held in off end weapon. So if they decide to make this weapon an actual transmog that people can like use instead of their weapons. It's definitely going to sell for a lot of gold, and I think it will be a nice little activity in order to yeah like make some extra gold. In order to get this um, like this weapon, you just want to pickpocket these different mobs in the Dragonflight uh, zone. And this is the Risen Winterguard Miner and the Forgotten Knights. So this is how you can get this weapon. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I know that pickpocketing is not the best way to make some gold, but it can be a nice little addition. And sometimes if you just want to change a little bit the way you're making some gold, it can be a nice thing to keep in mind. Just a couple of tips in order to make it very efficient for you to uh, pickpocket. So the first thing is, of course, going to be uh, activating auto loot. So auto loot is really going to be helpful for you to do these different farms. If you're opening all the lockboxes, hoping to get some of the rare weapons, uh, you might want to remove auto loot because like that you can then sell the log boxes to other players if you want, especially ones that are used for the reputation. And also if you want to just open them and get the loot and you just want to really uh, use them, you want to create maybe a macro slash open the uh, log box and like that you will be able to redo it very, very easily. Also always keep in mind that it's easier uh, to kill the mobs once you've pickpocketed them because then they will respawn very very fast and like that you will be able to pickpocket them again if you don't kill the mobs i don't remember what is the like uh, respawn timer for the pockets to be filled again but it will take a little bit of time so it's really up to you but killing the mobs is usually going to help you a lot so that's it for today's video. I really hope uh, you will enjoy and I hope you will be able to make some gold with pickpocketing. I will be back very soon with more videos and more guides. And in the meantime, I wish you a great week and I will see you all very soon. Bye.